Hello, my name is Eric Bennett and welcome to my show, The Pulse of Maine, on MainWebNews.com. This is where I interview and talk to candidates, elected officials, business and community leaders, and you, to get your message out so people can hear it. I am also a staff member on Paul LePage's campaign for governor, and my role there is new media and social networking strategy. One thing I really enjoy doing is examining the political commercials that air during campaigns and breaking them down and telling you what is true, what isn't, and what I think about them. And now, Maine Web News. Libby Mitchell has run ads saying Paul LePage wants to eliminate our environmental protections that keep our waters clean and our air pure. What makes Maine unique is our natural beauty, but today it's being threatened. Paul LePage wants to eliminate our environmental protections that keep our waters clean and our air pure. Paul does not want to eliminate the protections that keep our water and air clean. Paul wants to use common sense to make it easier for people and businesses to not break the law. Here's an example. Did you know that if you take a glass of drinking water from your faucet and you pour it in the river, you're going to be breaking the law? It's true. I'm not kidding. This is the sort of regulation Paul is talking about that prevents businesses from wanting to come to Maine and hire people to create jobs. Libby Mitchell also states that Paul says we will have to choose between jobs and the environment, and that is not true either. He argues that we have to choose between jobs and protecting our environment. If you pour a glass of drinking water into the river, it is not going to hurt the environment, and she is making a mountain out of a molehill, and it's just plain silly. Paul wants to use common sense so that when businesses look at Maine, they see an opportunity for their company to grow not get crushed under absurd regulations that have led to Maine being the number one welfare state in the country because there are no jobs here. We want businesses to come here and we want them to bring jobs, but it's that sort of regulations that drive them away. Paul's plan is this. He will issue a review of every state regulation and remove the absurd red tape to make it easier for government to get out of the way and allow Maine small businesses to create jobs. Paul will promote a speedier permitting process this is so important because it will allow immediate capital expensing and additional tax deductions for small business purchases. Paul will also fight to eliminate statewide fees on startups so small business owners can create new jobs in Maine. Libby Mitchell ran an ad that showed an offshore oil well on fire off of Popham Beach. And she did this because she wants to try to scare you. Now it is tragic when accidents happen and that spill in the Gulf could have been prevented. We could have capped it in two days, not three months, if we had an effective executive in charge. Governor LePage will ensure that Maine's agricultural, marine, and forestry industries are protected and able to grow. Libby Mitchell says she is opposed to nuclear energy, when almost every single civilized country on earth uses it, and uses it safely. France relies on 80% of its power from nuclear. Unlike her commercial showing a nuclear power plant popping up instantly, in reality it takes years of dealing with the federal government before we could even begin looking at nuclear as an option. Not only that, but Governor LePage would make certain that the people are informed of its development every step of the way. As far as storage is concerned, we now have the technology to recycle it. You could almost say nuclear has gone green. We just had bailouts across the board for banks, the auto industry, and other companies, and they failed because bailouts don't work. Paul is in favor of alternative energy like wind and solar, but first we must make sure that they're able to operate on their own. It does not make sense to start a business that will drive up energy costs and constantly need to be bailed out by the taxpayers. That defeats the purpose all the way around. Experience the future of Maine News today at mainwebnews.com.